Hi, this is Mike, WB4HUC, and this video is going to be about my uh, Telepost LP100A watt meter. One of the things that you can do with this watt meter that I've not done until just recently is plug it into your computer. So there's a 9-pin serial port on the back of the watt meter, and I have it plugged into one of the uh, serial ports on my computer. I have a card in my computer with four nine pin serial ports and right now they're all uh, used so the radio is on COM port 3 um, the amplifier is on COM port 4 the meter, the watt meter is on COM port 5 and the tuner is on uh, the KAT500 tuner is on COM port 6 and the amplifier is an Elecraft KPA500 and the nice thing is uh, the radio can communicate with all these devices except the tuner but it will communicate with the amplifier will communicate with the meter so anyway uh, what I wanted to show here is I'm on six meters the bands pretty dead right now so I think it's uh, pretty safe to do this little test so one of the pieces of software is this uh, LP100 uh, plot program and you can get different kinds of uh, plots of all these different things so I'm just going to demonstrate using uh, the SWR and so you can put in your start frequency which I'll say is 50 megahertz put in your stop frequency which I'll say is uh, five zero point three five zero. So this will cover the CW through the phone bands and up through the digital portion of the band uh, where FT8 and those things take place. So you and then uh, it'll measure every fifty kilohertz, and it will also key the radio. So one of the nice things about the N4POI software is it'll communicate with lots of stuff. So right now I've told that I've told the uh, LP100 software that it's uh, direct uh, control of the radio, and um, it uses for that it uses the Kenwood command set, which is also what the N4PY software uses for uh, the virtual ports that you use to connect to other devices. So you know like like to like. So when I um, let's run the power up, I think it's going to set the power to 100 watts anyway. But um, so we're in CW mode. We've told it that it's a Kenwood radio COM port 14, which is a virtual COM port that talks to the uh, N4PY software on uh, the matching uh, other side of the COM port pair. So we're going to start at 50 megahertz, stop at 50.350, and do this in 50 kilohertz steps. And it's going to show us a plot of the SWR. So I'm just going to say run. And when the red light comes on, you can see that it's keying the radio. And you can briefly see the power in here and we're done. So the radio got keyed, the power got measured, and the plot got made and lo and behold uh, this is on a 6 meter dipole that I put up uh, that I've been playing with. So here's the SWR plot from 50 to 5350 megahertz. So there you go, that's the uh, LP100 plot uh, software. There's another one that uh, so I'm going to close this one and I'm going to go to another one called LP100 uh, Virtual Control Panel. So this one, um, this program doesn't really talk to the radio, but anytime you transmit what you could, what you would see in the front panel in the display of the watt meter you'll see here. 
so if I just uh, sort in CW mode, 100 watts out, and if I set the PTT, so now you can see 93 watts, and so we are 1.2 to 1, which pretty much matches that plot. We're in tune mode, so if I lower the power, you'll see the power drop. And watch the scale change from 250 down to 25 as we drop below 25 watts. And then you can change to normal. You can change to peak power mode. So then if I go back up in the power and then drop so that's the peak and now after a few seconds it'll it'll reset um, you can set the auto ranging so you can set the scale 25 watts let me turn this off 25 watts 250 watts and I have the high power sensor not that I'm ever going to run this but uh, 10k or auto so it automatically change which you saw when I lowered the power he went from the 250 watt scale down to the 25 watt scale and he measured the SWR and then the uh, SWR alarm can be changed so if the SWR rises above uh, 2.5 to 1 the alarm will sound in the watt meter I usually keep it set at uh, I can turn it off I keep it set at 2 to 1 and then uh, you probably saw these uh, measurements in here too so anytime you're transmitting instead of having to so the watt meter on in my uh, radio table sort of sitting off to the side so instead of having to turn my head and look at the watt meter I can see it see what I need to see right here um, you can also change this display uh, so this is small this is vector which shows these items and then if you want to show the setup the COM port and other information and then here's uh, stuff uh, probably coming out of the watt meter into the software I have the high power coupler and this is the LP100A not the LP100 but uh, so I'll probably just keep it here and then I can put it here and then I can just see what I need to see right here so there you go. That's uh, the two pieces of software that uh, you can get for the LP100A and how they work. And then the third trick is also pretty neat. So I need to change. So the, the watt meter is on COM port 5. And uh, so if you know you can't share well you can share a COM port if you use something like Omni Rig or whatever but I don't really use that so the other trick is the N4PY software can display the watt meter information here uh, so the N4PY software can talk to the watt meter so if I, I have to change the configuration file uh, for the N4PY software so I come down here and I'll change this to say uh, COM5 and then I'll save this and I'll move that out of the way and then I have to stop the software and restart it so I have to drag it off of the middle monitor and put it back on the main monitor so I'm going to just going to stop and restart this software. So we're back, and so I'm going to switch antennas, and I'm going to change bands. And let's get up out of the way. hear anybody so let's just do this here so we'll go back to CW mode and we'll run the power down and 
so I can't show what I can't show is the uh, remote control software that I just demonstrated because it also uses the same COM port uh, that the meter is plugged into but right now that's assigned to the N4PY software so I can't but I don't need to because I can see it here so um, I'm going to leave the uh, amplifier off for now and let's just key up a little bit and apparently anything below so I'm showing 4 watts on the front panel of the meter but so now we're starting to see now we're starting to see some power output here so let's stop that let's put the amplifier into operate mode so here's where the N4PY software talks to the amplifier and if the amplifier faults it'll show up here and then you can clear the fault and it'll show uh, and if you can and you can clear the fault by clicking this button so now let's uh, okay powers down PTT so just watch this area of the screen here so now we're we're at 4 watts output of the radio but we're 60 watts out uh, as measured by the watt meter from the amplifier so if I just run this up 260 watts 330 watts 380 watts 400 watts 390 well you get the idea I'm not going to push this too much so by by using the serial port on the watt meter plug it into the computer you can do all kinds of things and uh, it's uh, pretty handy I like it a lot so if you have an LP100A Plug it into your computer and play with it and see if you like it or not. So there you go, just a quick little video on uh, the serial port functionality of the Telepost LP100A wattmeter. I hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching.